hello students welcome back to my channel mind your exam so in this video we will be studying about data rate limits now we know that data rate actually means that how fast our data is traveling or how fast we can send the data on a transmission medium now data rate which is defined in bits per second can be uh, dependent upon or actually it is dependent upon three factors firstly the bandwidth then is the number of levels that are present in the signal and third is the signal to noise ratio or the amount of noise that is present in the uh, in the channel or that is used for transmission okay so now based on this information there were two theoretical limits that were provided by scientists to tell you theoretically what is the maximum amount of uh, bit rate or data rate that you can achieve on a noisy channel and on a noiseless channel so we have studied in the previous video that what is noise what are distortions what is attenuation which basically refers to the different kinds of signal impairment now in this video we'll see for a noiseless channel what is the formula for achieving a theoretical maximum value of the bit rate and same goes for a noisy channel so starting with noiseless channel in the noiseless channel there is a formula which is given by nyquist and it is known as the nyquist bit rate so the bit rate in a noiseless channel is calculated by the formula 2 times the bandwidth multiplied by log l base 2 where l is the number of levels that are present in a signal okay number of levels present in a signal now you must uh, notice number of levels present in the signal yeah so you must notice that since l is directly proportional to the bit rate so one might think that increasing the number of levels increases the bit rate however since increasing the number of levels will make the signal more complex therefore increasing the number of levels will also decrease the reliability of transmission because the transmission or the signal has become more complex now and the receiver is expected to correctly decode all the different levels and the information contained in them okay so increasing the number of levels increases the bit rate but it also decreases the reliability of a channel and I must tell you once again then that these values are just theoretical values theoretical maximum values because uh, in real life when you start increasing the number of levels and your bandwidth for a channel is fixed your bit rate will also attain a value which is which will be not more than this particular value it will be in most cases less than this theoretical maximum bit rate okay but uh, as long as you have to give your exams and you have to calculate the bit rate for noiseless channel this is the formula that you will be applying to into bandwidth multiplied by log of l base 2 okay now coming to a noisy channel now if in the question you are given that you have to calculate the bit rate or the capacity of a channel for a noisy transmission medium then you use the Shannon's formula Shannon was another scientist and uh, the capacity in this case is given by the formula bandwidth multiplied by log of 1 plus SNR base 2 okay so please remember as I mentioned in the previous video also this SNR has no units so if in the question you are given SNR with decibel in the decimal form you will have to apply the formula that we used in the previous video to convert uh, the snr from decibel to normal snr without any units okay so this is the shannon capacity formula which is used for noisy channel and here you must notice that this is independent of the number of levels in a signal all right so now let's do two quick questions on each of these formula first for the noiseless channel if we have a bit rate of 265 
kbps and a bandwidth of 20 kilohertz then if you have to calculate the number of levels you will be applying this formula this is the bitrate that you have been given you will put the bitrate here then 2 multiplied by the bandwidth 20,000 so I have converted the bitrate also and bandwidth also into bits per second that is multiplied by 1000 because this was originally in kilobits per second and I have also multiplied the bandwidth by 1000 because this was also in kilohertz. So we need bit rate in bits per second and bandwidth in hertz to calculate the number of levels. Now when you put this equation in this equation you will get log L base 2 equal to 6.625. Now if you have to calculate the value of L you will get L by uh, by raising 2 to the power 6.625 which is 98.7 so since levels are always an integer you can uh, you will be having 99 levels here okay now coming to the question for noisy channel in this case we are given a bandwidth of 3000 hertz so no need of conversion here and we are given an SNR of 3162 again it is already uh, in the form that we require for this formula so no need of conversion now capacity this will be directly applicable bandwidth that means 3000 multiplied by log of 1 plus 3162 so 3000 multiplied by log base 2 of 3162 plus 1 which is 3163 and you will get uh, the value of 34860 bits per second so please remember to put all the units when you write your final answer in your theory exam. Okay, so I hope you have understood both these concepts. If you like this video, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video, find your exam.